Hey y'all, what's going on? Ooh we, what are we gonna cook tonight? Well, we're gonna take y'all to a steakhouse. That's what we're gonna do. We're gonna do some prime rib. Mm-hmm. Indeed. Then we're gonna do a little twist at the end for you, too. So let's run down this prime rib. Now, this prime rib I have, I have it already twined up already. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna mark it. Now, why am I doing this? Because I plan on having me a few steaks set to the side for another day. So there's no need for me to cook up this entire prime rib at the moment in time. So that's what I'm doing. I'm, I'm slicing this now. Now watch, I'm not going back and forth. I'm not sawing this meat. I am doing one slicing motion in one direction. Do not go back and forth with your blade. One motion, one way, and let the weight of the blade do the job for you. Let gravity do the job for you. And your knife needs to be sharp. You cannot have a dull knife and take your time when you are using your knife. The knife that I am using is a fillet knife. It is not a chef's knife. It is not a serrated blade. It is a fillet knife. You use a fillet knife on fish. You use it on other protein products as well so you can disarticulate, fabricate, section off your protein. As you see, I'm slicing one motion taking my time i am not in a rush i am making sure i am hitting the right angle because i don't want my meat to be jagged i don't want it to be sawed all right so now y'all see where we are with the meat so I say, sweetheart, do you mind getting me a freezer bag so I can drop this in there? And she said, yes, baby, I got you covered. So she grabs the freezer bag and gets that out the way. Now, what are we doing here? We are placing beef base. We are rubbing beef base all over this prime rib right here. We want to make sure this beef base penetrates this prime rib, okay? We're coating every drop of the outer portion of this prime rib okay that's very important that you add this beef base to the prime rib and you let it marinate you let it sit but make sure you rub it in good rub it in like some lotion rub it in like some cocoa butter all right rub it in like some vaseline on the hands okay that's you you get the point okay and when you do it make sure that you do the entire portion do the sides too as well make sure you get that beef base in there beef base is a great product to use as an enhancer okay yes it's beef but beef base gives your steaks it gives your your protein your beef proteins the flavor it needs they have chicken base they have seafood base as well pork base so you can use that for whatever you need and so what i'm doing here is i'm scoring the bone scoring the bone yes i am taking my blade and i'm running it across the bone the reason why is that adds flavor it adds flavor you should try it okay score the bone because it adds flavor to the dish and it allows that marrow to kind of leach out a little bit that flavor to be penetrated throughout the entire steak indeed it does so this prime rib is a nice cut i would say that this one was about um, somewhere around 10 pounds. And I really didn't get the weight of it this go around because I was in the mood just to go ahead and cook and let's get it rocking and rolling, okay? So we go ahead and season it up right now. We're gonna add some garlic powder, some paprika, some onion powder, a few other special seasonings and spices. We had some steak seasoning, some on it as well. Um, I had some Worcestershire sauce that we put on the outside and we let it sit. I let this steak sit for about 45 minutes rather i let this i let this prime rib sit for about 45 minutes and now what we're doing is now we're gonna go ahead and add some veggies on here on top too okay we got these green onions these green onions come out of my garden mm, i love them so we're gonna throw those on there they add so much flavor to the dish you don't have to add the green onions if you don't want to add the green onions but i love the green onions and plus they are healthy for you too think about considering Starting your own little mini garden. You don't have to have a huge garden. Just grow one or two items. Something that you feel like you might use. 
save the money and do it and grow it your own self. Yeah, we're going to go ahead and throw some white onions on that thing, too, with the green. And we're going to go ahead and throw some green bell peppers and some red bell peppers on there. Fun fact, red bell peppers have three times the amount of vitamin C as a glass of orange juice. One raw red bell pepper has three times the amount of vitamin C as a glass of orange juice. So just think about it. If you're eating a salad and you decide to throw bell peppers on that salad and eat it raw, you are doing yourself a good thing. So, how do we cook this prime rib, though? So, I had the oven set at 425 on roast while I was doing all this prep for the prime rib. Well, surprise, surprise, surprise. We got some beef ribs right here, too, y'all. I didn't tell y'all. I told y'all I had a twist, and the twist is these beef ribs, okay? So these beef ribs came out phenomenal. Same cook time, same cook method, same seasonings. I just didn't add any bell peppers, any onions, or any uh, green onions for that matter, too. Okay, but the same cook time, same method, same seasoning, garlic powder, onion powder, paprika, salt pepper Worcestershire sauce a little steak seasoning too as well now I did the same thing had the oven set at 425 convection 30 minutes cut it down 225 and I let these cook now I pulled these out about 30 minutes prior to me pulling out the prime rib and I mean they were tender fall apart tender so this was a blessing. So I'll do a video on the beef ribs later on. But we just want to show y'all that, that twist because these beef ribs look real, real good. All right, y'all. This will be looking like right here. This is the prime rib right out that oven there, okay? This prime rib, you see the red bell peppers on there. You see the white onions. You see green onions. Maybe you don't see the green onions because they're real small, but you should see the green. I see a green onion right in there, right there. I see another one right there. But anyway, y'all see this prime rib. We had the oven at 425, convection roast. We had the oven at 425, convection roast. 30 minutes I left it in there at that temperature. And that's where you kind of see that color and that little char on top of the veggies at, right? Then we cut it down, 225. 225, four and a half hours. Five hour cook time in total. Now the same method goes. One motion. We're not sawing it. So this way I started off moving my blade forward instead of the blade to me. So since I started with a forward motion, I must proceed and finish with that forward motion. If you start with reverse motion, keep it that way. And this is what you get. Look how smooth and pretty that is. Clean as you go. Thank you, sweetheart. I appreciate you for helping me out. Now, here's a plate for you. We got your mashed potatoes. We got your ooh-wee beef ribs. We got your prime rib right there, medium rare. Perfect temp for your prime rib. What else we got here? Oh, we got stuffed mushrooms. I just did a video on the stuffed mushrooms maybe last week. Or a while ago. Man, look at those stuffed mushrooms. Stuffed with spinach and artichoke dip. Mm-hmm, portobello mushrooms. Then we had some roasted asparagus. Once again, I say we had some roasted asparagus, and it turned out phenomenal. Once again, you can have a steak dinner at home. How much? Do you think you would spend at a steakhouse for a plate like this? That piece of prime rib bone in is about 20 ounces. Now you got two fat beef ribs right there. You got a stack, almost a mile high stack of mashed potatoes. Two portobello mushrooms stuffed with spinach and artichoke dip we made from scratch. Go check out that video. And then beef ribs. That's what I'm talking about. These beef ribs fell apart. They truly fell apart. All right? Y'all just sit back and watch this right here. I want to say thank y'all. Thank y'all. Thank y'all. Now, y'all be blessed and stay phenomenal. And we will be back to drop some more on y'all. Be sure to hit the like. Be sure to hit the subscribe. 
And be sure to move those thumbs or those fingers to drop a comment, all right? Let me know what y'all want to see next. If it's vegan, let me know. If you want to see more proteins, let me know. It's all good. This is what I do. I am a chef, but I love to share ideals with the world, all right? That is just who I am. Y'all find that out over time. All right, now, y'all take it easy. We'll be getting at y'all real soon now. Yeah. <laughs>